there shall be suns in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon earth, distress of nations, with perplexity of all the things that are coming upon the earth. Love is a burning sin, and it makes a fiery rain. On October 13th of 2023, we witness what is known as the Ring of Fire Annular Eclipse. This is a total eclipse of the sun, leaving a ring of fire directly around the sun's edges. That was said to be visible as a full eclipse in eight of the continental United States and 49 in a partial eclipse. But what most people aren't understanding is that there's a lot more going on up there than what we even have an idea about. Our concepts are completely wrong and their lies are extremely big. I'm sure at this point you all are probably trying to figure out what it is that I'm trying to show you. You see, there's a lot of crazy things going on in this world and most are unaware of them. But sometimes some of these things are just right in front of our faces. It's just that they're so fast that if you blink, you miss them. This here should really leave some scratching their heads, if not all of us. There are a total of 224 solar eclipses within the 21st century. And out of these, 68 are total eclipses, 73 are considered annular, and 7 are hybrids of total and annular solar eclipses, and 77 are partial solar eclipses. Now come on already, a hybrid solar eclipse? Last I checked, the verbal definition of hybrid means the mixing or combining of two separate and different elements. So. Maybe we ought to be asking some more questions, you know? I'm just saying. Never have we ever, in the history of what we know, as far as what they say our history is anyway, have we experienced so many eclipses, so many forces to be reckoned with, with earthquakes and hurricanes and all sorts of things that we can't explain that are happening so much and in abundance. And no, it's not just because we have cameras to capture them now, because I've seen them with my own eyes where I never saw them before. And come on, you guys gotta admit, the same goes for you. Don't let them fool you with their lies. I'm sure you all are wondering what I'm getting at. So, right now, with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you, as well as tell you. Well, look up, look at the video. What are you seeing here? Keeping in mind that I captured this on my own camera the day of the annular ring of fire eclipse. And had I not accidentally been reviewing footage the other day and stopped it just at the right point, I would have never, ever seen this in a million years because it happened so fast that my own eyes certainly didn't catch it. That is until, again, I reviewed the footage. I'm telling you right here and right now, this gives WTH a whole new level in definition and meaning. I mean, really, what are they doing? What's going on up there? What have they been hiding from us? What have they not told us? What is everything above us anyway? What is it really? It feels like there's a ceiling over me anyway these days. Nothing feels like it goes into what they call outer space. But I mean, right here should be enough to blow all of your minds because this happens so quick and so fast. And last time I checked, we don't have any equipment that could ever move like this. So with that said, I saw this and witnessed it and captured it with my own camera and witnessed it with my own eyes, just as you yourselves are right here and right now for the very first time. I mean, come on. How did we miss this? You're gonna have to ponder these things because I'll tell you what, right now, I'm left dumbfounded. But I know for sure that our government knows and they're lying to us.
拜。